Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. I'm Noraiham binti Muhammad, an associate professor from the Faculty of Manufacturing Engineering, UTAN. Today I will be giving you our first lecture for Engineering Materials BMFG 1213 course. So today's lecture is for Chapter 1 on Introduction to Material Science and Engineering. Before we start, let's have a moment of silence. We open our session with Baca and Doa. So, what is material? Material is substance consisting elements or constituents or mixtures of substances that constitute an object or which something is composed or can be made. Confusing, right? Actually, in short, is what an object is made from. Look around you. I bet you are now sitting on a chair while holding a pen in order for you to jot down notes. And then, because of you are actually now staying in a room and the room is a little bit dark, you want to brighten the room by switch on the light while having a coffee because you want to prevent yourself from falling asleep by using a mug. All these particular objects are made from various materials. So, what is actually the purpose of you studying the engineering materials course? Definitely, I believe that your class lecturer already mentioned to you that this particular course is having three different CLOs or course learning outcomes. However, for this particular chapter, the CLO is explain the basic concept of engineering materials in terms of interatomic bonding and crystal structure. Because the word is explained, it means that you just need a lower level of thinking based on the Bloom taxonomy, which is in the range of knowledge and comprehension. So, what are the learning objectives for this particular chapter 1? There are three learning objectives. First is introduce the field of material science and engineering. Second is introduce the relationship between properties, structure, and processing of material. And then third is to provide introduction to the classification of materials or the type of materials. Because of these three learning objectives, the chapter outlines are, first, we're going to actually give the historical background of the material science, okay? Second, the material science and engineering in terms of the processing, structure, properties, and performance relation. And then, the classification of materials and its application, which actually based on the types and functions. Last but not least, in order to actually include the advancement of material science and engineering, so this chapter also includes the future of material science and engineering. 